What's good YouTube? It's Xavier Sturzel here today with another unboxing video. <laughs> I know I'm terrible. This is like my 30th one. Uh, but either way, as you can see, the layout is different. I'm actually, this is my first video being done in the basement of the new place, the remodel. We remodeled this whole thing. If you're curious to see how we, like, what we all did and I'm curious to just see everything else about my life, really, that's not airsoft related, shoot on over to my other channel. It's called Xavier Williams. It's featured. Whatever. It's just everything that's not airsoft. Anyway, so here is the Ares amoeba aries striker amoeba i've been wanting like a gun that i don't have to like charge the battery for and then you know get everything ready and go out on the field it's just a giant pain in the ass you know i just wanted something i could pick up and play if my buddies call me one day and they're like hey we're going to the field now so let's go um so yeah i originally i had the snt uh springfield the 1903 m1903 springfield and that crapped out on me for those who who don't know that crapped out on me pretty quickly uh, just shooting it around the house. A phenomenal gun. The, sh the thing shot fucking laser beams because I shot it off my porch. I know I'm terrible. <laughs> I shot it off my porch a lot. But uh, it, it just shot just straight. I really couldn't wait to get it out in the field, but sure as shit, it crapped out on me uh, pretty quickly. So I got another one. <laughs> so here she is. Let's just crack it open, huh? That's the XR5 in the background. God, I did such a good job. I hate to toot my own horn, but I, I really like all my XR5 projects. Oof, that chalky feeling, I hate that. Got my nice carpet shear right here. It's like a $30 scissors. Ooh, that's probably not smart to set that up there. I'll angle you guys down so you can see this. All right. Carpet shear, come back. Baby, come back. I have been a fool, I see. There we go. Ooh. Whoa. Alright, and then one more. This thing is awesome. These blades are like so thick on this, it's just amazing. Alright, so what did I all get in here? What is this? Airsoft Field Guide. UPS sticker, of course. Throw that over there for garbage. Don't worry guys, this place will not be nearly as messy as the old place, the apartment. Because this place actually has room for me. And I just bought a really nice storage unit too, so... Oh, well, look at that. They even have, like, a strip guide for, like, cylinders, and I don't know why the heck I sent this. I don't think this is an Aries thing. I'm pretty sure this is an e-bike thing. So that's really cool that they sent that. Uh, basically just gives everyone a, you know, a quick one-two on how the hell you work your gun. Look at that. A full chart on your gearbox breakdown. That is super crazy helpful. Thank you very much, e-bike, for sending me that. I know you guys will probably never see this video, but uh, either way, that's really cool that they sent this. A mechanics guide. Look at that. That is so cool that they sent that. Yeah, it has everything. I mean, for anyone who's a, a first timer, this is actually really helpful to have. Uh, they even have it for uh, spring guns, which is something I actually could use. because I've tacked on spring guns and bolt action rifles, but I'm still not the most perfect with it. So yeah, they got e-bike mat here. So that's definitely an e-bike thing. All right, onto the gun, sorry. Ooh, Airsoft Judy. Oh, guys, I don't know. Find the Malaysian girl, I don't know. <laughs> All right, oh my God, oh my God, they're just killing me. Poor Gabby's gonna hate me for this, but this is definitely going on the wall. Good Lord, she's so cute. <laughs> All right, uh, oh, uh-oh. The flash hider's not in the box. There it is, okay. So I did order a, because the gun is only 119 on Evike right now, so I actually ordered the flash hider with it. I did not realize this thing was going to be this freaking huge. That is a huge flash hider. That thing's ginormous. Uh, just to compare it to something. Uh, here's the AK-105. AK you can see the size of that flash hider difference, and that's the AK's got a pretty fat flash hider as it is, but let, let alone that. That thing's ridiculous. It's a huge flash hider. I like the... Put that back by the PP-19, so I'll set you up there. All right, we're on to the gun. Come on, come to Papa. What is this? Uh, uh. Okay, there's an O-ring in here, so. Oh God, this thing's heavy. All right, so here we got the gun. Let's flip it this way. All right, so here's the outside of the box. Uh, as you can see, there's a nice big fat hole in it, so that's already not a good sign. 
unbox quality, but all right, we'll just go ahead and open it. It's got these two little things on the side here. You guys have seen these a million times, I'm sure. Came with a nice carrying handle, although I'd never use this as a gun case, but whatever. It says Amoeba, just innovation. So that's kind of cool, I guess. There we go. Uh-oh, yay, it's an egg carton. <laughs> I got an egg carton gun. All right, so right off the bat, it came with another little thing. It has like this cool guy, I guess, with a with a Ares amoeba on its back. So that's yeah, kind of cool. Ooh, ooh, it's not Chingrish. Pull the trigger to shoot. Yeah, that's not Chingrish. Cool. Look at that. That's a really nice breakdown manual. That's really helpful. It's probably one of the better of the breakdown manuals that I've seen. I'm looking at the back here. They have a full field strip manual too. Uh, for full disassembly actually even the magazine that's super cool uh, so you know I'm gonna give props to Ares Amoeba for that that's really cool I'm surprised at the amount of little things that I got with this so these two are really helpful I have like an airsoft bookshelf I swear to god <laughs> and then this oh my god where'd you go no, come back baby she's going on my wall <laughs> all right onto the gun um oh onto the mag Magazine. It feels like a Magpul mag. Uh, it, it's a really nice. It's really solid. It feels like a like a like maybe not a Dupont. I would say an injection molded polymer, but very thick. Maybe like a fiberglass reinforced polymer. Uh, it's a really nice feeling uh, magazine. It feels just like one of the Magpul P mags or PTSP mags. All right, let's get the gun out of here. Let's see right here. And what's behind it? Okay, so we got. A speed loader, one of these old school ramrod style ones, and of course a ramrod. And seeing how short this ramrod is, you can kind of assume that this barrel in this gun is awfully short. So I came again, crafting this pretty crappy, uh, wrapping this pretty crappy um, cardboard like egg carton style. I'm not a huge fan of that. I, would, I really wish more companies would use the the nice spongy, the spongy foam that JD uses. But right, let's get the gun out of this bag. Ooh. Ooh, immediately. See that? Immediately, right into my shoulder. It feels very natural. Alright. Oh, wow. Alright, so let's get you guys back up here so you can see my face, not just my balls. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so the gun. Wow. Okay, so as you can see, it is a very aesthetically pleasing gun. Um, it came with this little thing around it. Uh, what is this? Just basically telling telling you that uh, they've tested this gun and now you can't return it. Even though you can, they just discourage it. Been quality controlled. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So, metal. Whole barrel's metal, that's nice. Uh, the whole upper... Uh, I suppose you'd call it an upper receiver. <laughs> that's all metal, the whole bolt assembly here is metal. Go ahead and rack that bolt back. I heard that this thing has a very, very easy bolt pull, but uh, I'm not absolutely sure. Okay, so is there anything I have to do? Pull the bolt back. Okay, it's not pulling, so let's go ahead and put the mag in. Oh my god, that is such an attractive gun. Like, seriously. Okay, it's not wanting to pull back. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, <laughs> I'll touch up on that in a second. Either way, so as you can see here, it's got that R700 style bolt. It's basically an R700, or was it, M40? I'd say R700 because that's the gun I like. Everyone also talks about the M40 whatever nowadays, but R700 is the real, the real OG in my opinion. The Remington is just a phenomenal rifle. Uh, my grandpa and my brother's best friend have hunted with that rifle for years. A phenomenal gun. So I would say that this in my opinion, uh, more closely resembles that than the M40 series, but you know, to each their own. They have really cut nice uh, custom engravings on it, and you can see that it's actually engraved into the metal, and not just a sticker there, which is nice. Uh, it says, warning, read manual before use on the side here, which definitely means they're probably right, seeing as I can't even caulk the gun, I should probably read the flipping manual. So uh, where did that go? Uh, let's just get an idea of how we're gonna use this here. Uh, Rifle not loaded. 
Yada yada yada. Uh, it doesn't really say how to fire the gun. Or rack the bolt. So, uh, oh, there it is. It was just stiff. There we go. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Okay, so it's definitely not an easy pull like they said. Uh, Airsoft GI said that it's a super easy pull. It's not. Um, if you've worked with the gas wheel back, and that's what they were comparing this to, and that is sticky there. See that? got a really short pull. It's got a really short pull. Uh, it's an M130 in there. So this gun uses a standard AEG internal, so that's kind of nice. It does have a really short pull, but it's definitely not easy, uh, which is kind of a, a bummer because I was really hoping that this gun would, uh, you know, have a real nice easy pull there like they were saying. Um, for me, it, it's still more than easy enough that I could field it all day, but for most, like, I bought my first, uh, I think it was the Well MBO3 when I was a kid, and that thing sucked the cock. Uh, so for a young Yen, I probably wouldn't recommend this. I don't know why it's so sticky. Like, if it didn't have that stick issue, see, it likes to stick there. If it didn't have that issue, it wouldn't be nearly as bad. But because it sticks... Yeah, see that? It's not even when there's tension on the bolt. It just sticks. So, here, let's get this. Pull the mag out. See how sticky that is? That's frustrating, actually. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I'm gonna have to work with this gun a little bit, guys. I don't know. Overall, though, I will say this much. Uh, it's lighter than I thought it would be. Its balance point is right here in front of the mag, it looks like. Maybe somewhere in the middle. Eh, just at the head of the mag. That's the balance point. That's kind of nice for a sniper. Uh, me, personally, I like to do the over-the-forearm rifle carry like this. It still works for that. You got plenty of room. Uh, the polymer on it is very, very nice. It's very solid. It feels just like the magazine. Maybe a smidge thinner than the magazine, but uh, it's more than good enough. Uh, for $120, I would highly recommend this rifle based on my current, you know, I ha obviously I haven't had it out of the box very long, but just feeling the external quality of this gun, it takes a flying leaping crap on the JG Bar 10. Uh, and the fact that it uses AEG internals is kind of nice. I would never, ever, ever in my life put an M150 in here or an M170, you'll never pull the thing back. Unless you're like, you know, on steroids or your biceps are like the size of my head, which my head's freaking huge. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, a very nice rifle. I'll go ahead and leave some shots of just the gun at the end of the video so you guys can kind of see it and get a better overlook of the, of the gun. Um, yeah, there's not much else to say about it. I want to get it out and field test it. I will do a full-blown review of this gun. I got a lot of guns to review. As you can see, these are just the ones behind me. There's a whole wall over there full of guns. And then I have a bedroom full of guns right now, a sound room full of guns. So I got a lot of work to do. Um, yeah, and in the shots, hopefully I'll have this on the gun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of, you know, rushed-ish. I just want to make sure you guys are getting content. Uh, I'm moving more stuff in tomorrow. I got a lot of work to do. So I'm just going to try to keep you guys fed, <laughs> fed for a while uh, while I'm moving in and finishing up this remodel. So I will in catch you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Catch me in the next video. How about that? Uh...